Good morning. It's going to be an amazing day, so I need a powerful breakfast. Federal prison on Alcatraz Island in the chilly waters of California's San Francisco Bay housed some of America's most difficult and dangerous felons during its years of operation from 1934 to 1963. Among those who served time at a maximum security facility were the notorious gangster Al Scarface Capone and murderer Robert Birdman of Alcatraz Stroud. No inmates ever successfully escaped the rock, as the prison was nicknamed, although more than a dozen known attempts were made over the years. After the prison was shut down due to high operating costs, the island was occupied for almost two years, starting in 1969 by a group of Native American activists. Today, the historic Alcatraz Island, which was also the site of a US military prison, from the late 1850s to 1933 is a very popular tourist destination. Long before the island became a prison, this windswept rock was home to large colonies of brown pelicans. When Spanish Lieutenant Juan Manuel de Ayala became the first known European to sail through the Golden Gate in 1775, he christened the rocky outcrop La Isla de los Alcatraces, meaning Island of the Pelicans. The name eventually became anglicized to Alcatraz. With the inmates now gone, Gulls and cormorants are now the most plentiful inhabitants of Alcatraz. Al Capone was among the first prisoners to occupy the new Alcatraz Federal Prison in August 1934. Capone had bribed guards to receive preferential treatment while serving his tax evasion sentence in Atlanta, but that changed after his transfer to the island prison. The conditions broke Capone. It looks like Alcatraz has got me licked, he reportedly told his warden. In fact, Convict number 85 became so cooperative that he was permitted to play banjo in the Alcatraz prison band, the Rock Islanders, which gave regular Sunday concerts for other inmates. <laughs> <laughs> 